You know, I'm not gonna lie, I've been really putting off cutting my hair. And, like, it's not supposed to be able to do, like, this, where I'm able to, like, grab it. And I also haven't been shaving my face enough. I've been a mess. I've been so busy that I just haven't had time to do it. I've thought about just recording a video of me doing it, but then I'm like, well, I've already done that on the channel. I don't even know if anybody wants that. So I'll give you guys the chance. If you want to see me shave my head again for some reason, just leave a comment and I'll do it. I'm happy to, I guess. But uh, if not, then I'm totally fine just doing it privately. I'll give you guys like a day or two. Um, that being said, let's get into the topic. So I talked a lot on this channel about how balding shouldn't really matter when it comes to getting girls. In my opinion, in my experience even, it hasn't really impacted me negatively. I've never really had problems with being in relationships and, and getting girls having a receding hairline. That being said, my priorities are a little bit different than other people's. I don't really do hookup culture. I'm not really interested in like one night stands or flings. I'm usually the kind of person that wants to be in a relationship if I want to be engaging in that kind of stuff, which means my mentality is going to be a little bit different. I'm not looking to pick up a girl as quickly as possible. I'm interested in developing an emotional connection. And because of that, I typically want girls who are shallow enough to care about my hairline to go away so I can focus on girls that really matter. Now, that being said, very early on in my balding journey, when I had just shaved my head, so sometime in 2017 probably, there were a few girls that I thought were pretty cute. I was just getting out of a relationship and I was just looking to see what was going on in the world, you know? And... You know, I would flirt and they would flirt back. You know, I'm, I am a natural flirt. So typically I have those kind of like joking relationships with people. But at one point, um, maybe the flirting got a little bit too much. I'm not really sure what happened, but she wanted to make it clear that she wasn't interested in me. And that was totally fine with me. It was not an issue whatsoever. I wasn't looking to be in a serious relationship. I wasn't looking to date or anything. I was just having fun flirting, you know, just joking around basically at work. And she said specifically, she does not date bald men. And I almost laughed when she said that because I thought she was just joking, but she was being deadpan serious. She unironically just said that she just wouldn't date somebody because they're bald. And even in the moment, I knew that was just a stupid perspective to have. But it's interesting. So I've talked again on this channel about um, preferences and how you can't really expect somebody to compromise their preferences to want to date you, regardless of who you are. If you're the juiciest apple in the world, but someone's allergic to apples, they're never going to want you. But somebody loves apples and you're that thing for them. That's awesome. But knowing that there was a girl sometime in her early 20s, maybe like very late teens, because I was like 18 or 19 at the time. I don't remember the ages exactly. But she was uh, she had this perspective. And I thought to myself, man, 40 years from now, you're going to wonder, huh, was it really worth having that perspective? Not because she's missing out on me specifically, but because whenever you limit your options based on arbitrary physical features like a hairline, you're potentially missing out on a partner who could be very good for you. Um, and again, I wasn't looking to date her or anything, but it was a really interesting perspective. I had never heard someone so blatantly just say, yeah, I don't date bald guys. And there are men on this channel that are going to get super black filled here and be like, yes, all women are like this. And they're not at all. Actually, I have very little experience with the girls doing that because most people care more about your personality and the value of who you are as a person over your physical features. Now, if you're going for one night stands and flings, you might have some more trouble because typically that's more of a physical nature of a relationship, whereas I'm typically looking for and advocating for more emotional kind of relationships. She wasn't physically interested in me, which was totally fine. She doesn't date bald people. Um, I have had other girls in the past mention, again, I wasn't interested in them necessarily, but they were, you know, we'd flirt or whatever, mention that they don't like guys that have receding hairlines and that were balding. I think they're missing out. And obviously you guys are probably wanting to think the same thing. You know, I'm, I'm a human underneath this beautiful man of hair. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not a bad person. And a lot of balding men out there aren't bad people. In fact, a lot of them can provide a lot of value in a relationship outside of just their hairline. You know, not your entire physical demeanor does not center around your head. It's your entire package, you know? And even though if like one part of the package is a little bit damaged, you don't send it back to Amazon. You know, you still accept the package and you enjoy what's inside. It was interesting. So that was the time whenever a girl, I guess, kind of rejected me because I had a bald head. And again, I wasn't looking to date her necessarily, but it was just really off-putting. And we didn't really talk a whole lot after that because I think that's really close-minded just to discount somebody based purely on that physical feature. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't make a whole lot of young balding content anymore, but I do try to bring it out occasionally just because I know so many of you guys are looking for that. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. 
don't forget to comment down below and just let me know if you want to see me shaving my head again. I'm happy to do it, but I, I've already done it before, so I'm not sure if that's even something people are interested in. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. I don't make videos like this all the time, but I do a lot more other kinds of videos, like philosophy and talking about mental health. Do not forget to keep casual.